So your attention should not be on saving material things and uh, worldly things and all that, but attention itself must be saved. Ask a question, where is my attention? I've seen in the program, some people are concentrately listening to me, but some people cannot. Some are concentrated for a short while and some get disinterested after some time. Some are looking there, some are looking there. So how much attention you have saved is the only concern of a Sahaja Yogi. Forget about others, they are all garbage cleaners, you see. Forget about others who are not seeking, who are not of your quality, but you are a quality. Now what do you have to say? For example, somebody is a king, he doesn't bother of two P being saved, I don't know, Baba, these days, I can't say, definitely. They must be also doing that kind of a thing, you know. But what is he bothered? To save his grace, to dignity. But for a Sahaja Yogi, the most important thing is you must save your attention. It's called as Chitta Nirodha, Nirodha saving of your attention. Where is it going? It's such a precious thing for me. <coughs> Where is it running? Then how do you save your attention? It's through concentration. Concentrate, try to concentrate. Don't allow your attention to wobble. Gradually you will develop concentration. You can watch my photograph, it's the best. Concentrate, bring it in your heart, let it be integrated in your heart. You are lucky people, you don't have to build up a photograph and then give it up because it is just a avalambana, means it's just a uh, dependence and then you remove it. It's a complete dependence for you and a load for me of complete joy. So when you are concentrating in Sahaja Yoga, absolutely fully in Sahaja Yoga, <coughs> then you are controlling, saving your attention one. This sort of an attention one has to develop by watching the attention, Chitta as you watch your money, as you watch your road when you drive, as you watch your child when it is growing, as you watch the beauty of your wife or the care of your husband, all put together, you watch yourself, your attention. Where is it going? Where is it lagging behind? What is happening to my attention? Such people have no problems. You'd be surprised that such people, when they want to do something, it becomes dynamic. They can work it out. Nobody has any problem. And if there is a problem which you are facing all the time in them, know that there's something wrong with you. Something is wrong with the instrument. If you don't have a tin cutter and you start using a knife to cut a tin, it doesn't work out, then you'll say, the tin is something wrong with the tin or something wrong with you. No, the, it's wrong with the instrument and that instrument has to be correct. When the instrument is all right, after all, with all the powers you have, with all the blessings you have and the source of power behind it, everything should work out. It should work. You have had experiences of things working out. You have had experiences of many of miracles happening before your eyes. But still the attention has not settled down with those experiences. Still gatanubhavas means the old experiences continue, old identifications continue still continue with that. 
and the filth of that is still on your being. Change everything, become a fresh new person. You are blooming out as a flower and then as a tree and assume your position. Assume your position as the Sahajogi. So this attention must be brought round. You judge yourself, where is your attention? And what is the point of understanding? What is the measure of understanding? It's very simple. I have to be pleased because I am the attention. If I am pleased, then you have done the job. But I cannot be pleased by mundane things, by any arguments with that, but only by your assent. <laughs>